Hello, I am Shubham and in today's video, we will be looking at Tableau. Two things that we will be covering in this video. First is the user interface of Tableau and second, how to connect different data sources in Tableau. So first of all, let's see how to install Tableau. I will be using Tableau Public, which is free of cost, which you can use for your data visualization. Secondly, I will be having some sample data, which is .xls file and .csv file. So this way I can show you how to connect to different data sources in Tableau. Now this is your Tableau interface. This is Tableau Public, where you can see how do you connect to different types of files. You can even connect to different servers. Now this is the free version. In an upgraded version, you can access big data sources as well. Towards the right side, you see the viz of the day. Viz of the day means the visualization of the day. As you know, Tableau is used all over the world. So many data visualization professionals give their dashboards and visualization to everyone, share them with everyone so that it comes here. Now let's get started with the user interface. It's very easy to use. You can see, you can learn all the intro to the interface, the types of chart, dashboards, everything. Now let's try to connect to a data source. So you can see in the left side, we have to a file, which means I can connect to any kind of file. I can also connect to any kind of server. So let's try to connect some files. I have downloaded Netflix movies and TV shows XLS file. So let's go here. Let's go to the Excel file. Now I can go to my downloads and I can look for Netflix title.xls. Now this allows me to connect to Excel kind of data source. Now if I do open, it has now loaded all of the data in its uh, data source. Now the user interface is so simple. You just have to take this and drag it to here. Okay. So all you see is this kind of data. This is the data present in that particular table. And this is the data type of that particular table. The ones in the green are the actual values. Okay. So let's say I want to join two tables. I want to connect to one more thing. So I'll get here titles and countries. Now this way I have connected two tables. I've connected countries and I've connected titles. Now, next thing I'll be showing how to connect to a different data source, which is a CSV data source. So I can directly add a new text file, which is a text file can also be a CSV. So in our desktop, I've created a COVID data set, which is a CSV file. So this way we can add multiple types of data sources in Tableau. So I can now simply open it. Okay. So I have Excel data as well, CSV data as well. So this way you can have multiple types of data sources. Now, if I want to remove this, I can directly drag and uh, keep it outside. I want to add the COVID data set. So I can directly add COVID data. It starts loading that data set. You can see all of my data is getting loaded. Everything is loaded. There is something known as dashboard. Okay. So dashboard allows us to have a complete visualization. But dashboard, before going to dashboard, we have to look into worksheets. Okay. So this is a worksheet that I have created using Tableau. Now, initially, this is very much empty. It has nothing to do. Now I have measures here. Okay. I have measures here. Now two things I need to know. I have to plot a graph. Hence, I need rows and columns. Okay. So let's say I'll keep the country, region, everything in columns. Okay. So I have all these columns as countries. Now I want this, this green is the value. I want this value as rows. So basically what this COVID data set is on 1st of January, 2021, what was the condition of each of every country uh, because of COVID? So I'll put it in the rows. So you can see you got a visualization saying that these are the countries and this is the count of COVID positive patients. You can even interchange this to make things a bit clear for you. Okay. You can see Brazil had a lot of uh, COVID patients on 1st of January. Even India had a lot of patients. So now you can even use maps. So you can click here and this will populate a map for you. This is one of the best features of Tableau. You can even click this kind of maps. There are two major types of maps which you can use 
to represent your data okay so yeah that was a simple introduction about tableau interface hope you like the video thanks for watching